Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Johnny Bradley here, and today we're going to be comparing the differences between Amazon.co.uk and Amazon.de. So that's the United Kingdom and Germany. Now, before we do, make sure you are subscribed, turn on those notifications for those live streams, and of course, ask any questions down below and smash that like button. Just smash it because I love it when you do that. Let's get straight into it right now. All right, guys, so many of you um, do reach out to me. I got a comment about this literally this morning. And it's uh, the question is, you know, can I sell on, on Amazon Germany? What, how does it compare to the United Kingdom, to the USA, uh, those different marketplaces? So today, we're just going to compare just two products so, so I can actually show you the differences on the actual numbers. But also, I want to cover some of the, the statistics. I want to talk about some issues that people have and really look at the similarities and uh, look into the future. So. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually cover some of the statistics before we go into this. Uh, and again, any questions or anything you wanna add, just leave them down in the comments. Uh, I'm more than happy to hear things. So uh, I've got them on my phone, so I'm just gonna read them off to you. So when we compare um, the, the kind of volume of sales across the different Amazon marketplaces, the USA has about 65%. Now this may be slightly off in terms of the numbers. I think these are last year's results. Um, there, it's about 65% of the volume of Amazon in total. Um, Germany, about 11%, and the UK, about 8.5%, and then the rest of the world making up about 15.5%. Now, those numbers will be slightly different now, but that gives you an idea about the volume in the market in, in somewhere like Germany. Um, and, and the UK, especially compared to the USA. However, the benefits of the smaller marketplaces is the competition is way, way, way lower. So I'm gonna actually show you today. Um, now, let's go into these products, okay? Now, the first product I've looked at is a dry bag. I, I use this example quite a lot. It's a product I kind of like to show um, just because it's, you know, it's easily brandable, it's lightweight. Um, you know, the sales could be, could be better, competition could be lower, but it's a good one that I can show you guys to give you an idea, right? So I searched this in uh, Amazon.co.uk. I've used the Jungle Scout Chrome extension to bring up the figures. And as you can see, the let's look at the average sales and the average price and the average reviews. So average monthly to sales is 223. Uh, average reviews, 110. Average price, about 10 pounds. Now, that gives you a general idea of where we are. As you can say, see, the sales kind of dip off dip off towards the bottom, but pretty low competition. Um, people making a bit of money, especially near the top. And this product will probably get better, you know, throughout the year as well, as people start going on holidays and all that sort of stuff. Now, what we have to do, if we want to compare this compared to the German market, um, you can just type in dry bag into amazon.de. Um, but what I like to do is really take the, the word dry bag and translate it into German, just use Google Translate, or you can type in dry bag just here, and then just kind of work out what the German translation is if you don't speak German. So it took you know, a couple of minutes to figure out what it is. I'm pretty sure this, this is dry bag. Um, again, there might be a translation issue there. But if we have a look, we have um, a little, a tiny bit more volume in the market. So 223 average mo monthly sales in the UK versus 284. So it's slightly bigger, which does represent the fact that the German market is slightly bigger, okay? Um, now, if we look at the price, 12 euros, again, it's, it's kind of roughly, roughly the same. Um, not quite there, but it's, it's, it's near enough. It's not like 20 euros or anything like that. Average reviews, 62. Okay, so we've got more volume, less reviews. And that's a really good place to be. And this is, this is a good product. Um, you know, there, there's only a couple here, two or three, four, with over 100 reviews. I, I really wouldn't be concerned with that. The selling price, again, It'd be near, near enough the same. Um, and again, the sales dip off towards the end. So very similar marketplaces, very, very similar. And you can definitely find products on Amazon DE, okay? Now let's look at one more that has maybe a little bit more search, uh, search volume. This is the Scratch Off World Maps. You would have guys would have seen this you know, so many times over Christmas. Um, huge, this, yeah, massively popular product, but also loads of people got into it and didn't differentiate, so it made it quite hard to sell. Um, so let's have a look. Average monthly sales of 443, price of 15 pounds, and reviews 146. So a little bit higher in terms of the competition. We've got a few people here with over you know, 100. We've got this guy 600 reviews, 600 reviews. So a little bit more competition in this marketplace. But let's go ahead and try and find it in Germany. Now, this is the translation that I worked out. If there's a German speaker, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, let's just double check that. Uh, we'll open this up and we'll load all the different search results up. So the search results, 
coming up with similar similar figures. As you can see, the reviews are a lot less. We have a lot of people here with like this person selling 393 zero reviews. Now this could be someone doing a giveaway, um, as in you know, a brand new seller. This person, nine reviews, very new to the market, 12, 15, 16, nine. All these people very, very new to market. These guys have probably been doing it for a few months. Um, again, if you compare the two, we've got 443 monthly sales in the UK and 319. So it's, it's a little bit less in Germany. Um, however, again, it's less competitive by a significant amount. Uh, and the price again is, is a little bit more, again, about three, three um, digits difference. Now the actual difference is, uh, where's the euro sign on this bloody thing? I don't even know. I don't even know. Don't worry, someone do, the, someone do the translation. The pound is pretty much worth, worth nothing now, but <laughs> compared to the euro. But I think it's near enough one for one. Um, so yeah, those, those are two different, two different products the way, where we can basically compare how it is compared to the UK. And as you can see, there's not a huge amount of difference. Some products will obviously be better in Germany, some will be better in the UK because of the different marketplaces, just as how it works, it's just culture. Um, but what we want to look at is how you would actually start selling. Now, because it's uh, in Europe, it's very, very, very easy for a UK seller to sell in Germany. It's incredibly easy. All you do is go into Seller Central, you literally click like a few buttons and you can be, uh, you know, have your products being able to be fulfilled in Germany. Um, of course, you can send them to German FBA warehouses um, if you want to do it that way, or you can use Amazon's um, uh, pan-European fulfillment pro process, which means that basically anywhere can buy them. Uh, you can use Germany, you can do Italy, you can do France, all that sort of stuff. Very, very, very easy. Um, of course, there is VAT in Germany as well. The threshold is uh, is a little bit different to the UK. I believe it's 100,000 euros. Don't quote me on that. Um, but of course, if you are a non-resident, so if, if I'm selling from the UK, but my stock is held in Germany, then I need to be VAT registered in Germany from the point of my stock being held in that country. Now, if you've got any questions about that, the best person to speak to is an accountant. You can, all, of course, ask any questions down below, but this isn't a VAT tax video. This is really about the demand, competition, all that sort of stuff. Now, I do want to talk about one thing, right? One thing that is super important, and this is the big, big issue, right? Big issue, selling on the street. We've got a big issue, okay? Translation. Amazon can do the translation for you, but do not, my God, do not use it, okay? It will not be good, it will not be optimized, you're just, you're just pointless. Pay someone to translate it for you, pay a German national speaker or someone that is fluent in German to translate the listing for you because um, I've done work in the past on translation, uh, very weird, and this is actually when I, uh, I, I can't say, it's confidential, <laughs> uh, but I've done work on, on translation before and um, there's big things, a someone that, that knows the language will be able to translate it. Someone that lives in the country will know all the idioms and all the, the kind of local terminology that maybe someone that's learned the language as a second language might not know as well, unless they're super, super fluent. So I would personally find a German speaker if I was doing it. Uh, fortunately, I, I do know a, a German speaker that does e-commerce, so I would reach out to them and I would say, hey, can you translate my listing? I'll pay you this much money for it. And they're gonna give me a really good optimized listing that's gonna make sense in German because Germans, you know, it's a different language. The, the words are longer, the, the, the actual, the sentences are longer. So you might not be able to have the same amount of information in your description or your bullet points, for example, um, compared to the actual characters that you will need to use, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So translation is super important, spend some money on it. Um, and if you get it translated by someone online, have someone in a German speaker check it and make sure it makes sense. That's the big thing, okay? Now let's talk about similarities real quick, okay? Similarities between the markets, very similar size markets, very similar buying habits. Of course, there's gonna be differences within the cultures of what people buy and when people buy it. Um, but the competition is both, both in the UK and in Germany, very, very low competition. So what does that mean for you as a seller? Or a, particularly a new seller or bringing a new product to market? It means that you can rank on the first page very, very easily. For example, if we look at this dry bag, whatever scratch, or any of these products, right? We can, you can rank on this, on the, you can rank probably here super, super easy by just doing a giveaway for like seven days, uh, giving away like eight to 10 units a day, you will rank up here, okay? You just gotta maintain that rank after that point. Very, very easy to rank on that first page, especially with the competition. You can have, you can be a new seller with like 10, 20 reviews, and you could probably maintain your rank around here. Okay, the same with um, the same, the same with Germany. Look, this person up here, 616 sales a month. Okay, so they they're doing a, about 20 a day, and they've only got 14 reviews. 
14 reviews, guys. Like, I can get 14 people to review my brand new product and I can sell it on Amazon DE and I, can, I know I could rank up here, okay? Uh, even that top seller has got 133 reviews, which is, which is, look, they're selling for, more, it's more expensive, so the product they're, they're selling is more expensive um, than the actual person with the most amount of reviews by a significant amount, and they're selling a load more of them. They're making 45,000 euros a month from these scratch maps, which is crazy. So that's just to give you an idea. Now, if you're in Italy, or if you're in France, or if you're in Germany, or any of the countries that are uh, that Amazon fulfill in Europe, you have the ability to sell in any of the marketplaces literally within a few clicks. It's so, so easy, and on, on Seller Central, you literally, there's a button that's like, yeah, I wanna sell, I wanna fulfill in Germany. Yes, I wanna do it in the UK. So if you are in the UK, then, do you know what all you have to do, guys? Let's just go for it, right? We'll just go to Jungle, Jesus. Jungle, we'll go to Jungle Scout, right? Super, super easy. Load up the product database. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna click, click Germany. Just click the Germany. Okay, I don't understand what's going on here. So you may wanna use Chrome. I think Chrome can translate it for you, um, but you can just compare it to like English or you know, USA. It'll be very, very similar or be German. Um, so that's a, that's a very quick idea about the German market. It's a very good market, especially if you're a new seller, if you wanna be able to you know, get, get to the point of selling, selling and rank fast. Um, my only really big tip for selling in Germany is focus on your listing translation, okay? Um, if you're having a package designed, have it in maybe English, and in German, uh, your photos, you see a lot of people that have their, their listing in again, English and German, so that they can fulfill it in both marketplaces from one point. Um, then Amazon will do the rest for you. So hopefully that makes sense, guys. I know it's a bit of a quick video. I will go more in depth with the German market. Um, I definitely will do a lot more videos on it, but for now, it's just a case of comparing the two, and you can see they're very, very similar. Um, sometimes Germany will be a little bit better for certain products, sometimes the UK will be a little bit better for certain products, but the thing that they both have in common, guys, remember this, is they're very low competition. It's easy for a new seller to gain that position in the top page, okay, the top half of that first page, and even become the top seller, okay, within the space of a few months. The other thing, the little bonus little tip, or the bonus uh, kind of point that I wanna add on the end of this, is that remember, that you're not doing something right now to, to sell right now, okay? And right now only. You're not selling something just for a month and then getting rid of it. Think about the longevity of your product in one year, two year, three year, five years time because, now this is super important, I've talked about this in other videos, but when you look at the um, percentage of population or the ratio of population versus people that buy on Amazon in the US market, there is a higher uh, ratio compared to you know the UK and Germany. So what that what that actually means that might be quite confusing. But what that means is there's more there's more growth potential in the UK and the German markets compared to the US market because the US market has been around for a lot longer. Uh, and then Amazon's obviously had to then move into these other countries to expand their own business, like they've just expanded um, fully to the Australian market, which means that there's all these customers that are, you know, this untapped potential that you can go out and find customers and, and basically make a lot of money very, very quickly. So there is more growth potential in the UK market, there's more growth potential in the German market compared to the US market. Even though the US market has a huge amount of volume, you know, it's nearly 65% of the total uh, volume that, of sales that Amazon are getting, but there's less growth, okay? There's more competition in the US market. It doesn't mean that you can't make money, you can definitely make money on it, but really, if you're thinking about, you know, oh, I wish I got started on Amazon um, US, you know, five years ago, get started on UK or Germany now, okay? Because it's gonna get bigger, right? It's gonna get bigger. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed that video. As I said before, if you've got any questions, I'd like you to leave them down in the comments. If you wanna get involved in Amazon straight away, first link in the description, I can teach you exactly how and I will give you my personal one-to-one -one -one support as well if you do want to sell in Germany uh, or any actually any marketplace you want to. Smash that like button if you've liked it. Subscribe, of course, with those notifications turned on and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.